one here they are okay as i mentioned before in the before video we are going to be focused on the login system of the e framework e web application okay as you can see there's a little hint over here you may log in with demo demo or admin admin so let's log in first let's see what is happening demo demo okay okay we are logged in as demo pretty simple okay nothing much to see log out again log in again as admin admin okay it works okay log out again we'll try to log in with some rubbish and some rubbish let's see what happens okay insert username or password okay it seems okay this is pretty okay we, are, we didn't do anything this this all of this came from oh the normal creation of a simple web application okay let's go behind the scenes and let's take a look of what happens in this login component okay i'll open up eclipse oh uh, sorry this will take some time hmm. sorry about this i should have kept it open beforehand bear with me Okay, I'm going to open up. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to open up project. Mm, project name is demo. As you can remember, we created the demo project. And now finish. Okay, here's the demo project that we created the last time. Please go back and watch it if you don't remember. Okay. Now. As you can see, I'll go to the folder structure it. HTML. Okay, this is the demo. Okay, as you can see, we have several folders and index and index test. Okay, assets. Assets folder. I'll explain about the assets folder later on. There's a CSS folder, images folder, a protected folder, and a themes folder. Okay, let's get on to the protected folder and let's move on to the components folder as you can see there is a user identity file here i'll open this up on eclipse components and user identity so what happens is it's pretty simple actually what happens is when you enter the enter the demo demo or oh, admin admin password uh, username and password what happens is when you click this that form submits into this file itself okay it authenticates okay so what we are doing is if we are checking if is set the username is set and if the password the password is set we will give out an error code if there is an error if not if there is an error we will just submit we just say that we are logged in as you can see there is there, there is no database connection we are not going to a database and checking whether the username and the password is demo demo or admin admin we are just putting there what they have done is they have just put the username and the password into a simple array demo demo and admin admin so let's check this let's check we'll change this to it fellow my name is it fellow so it's it fellow and the password it fellow we'll save this and we'll log out of demo demo and try to log in from it fellow okay see we have succeeded so as you can see what they're doing is simple as that if uh, we are they're just putting the values the username and the passwords into a simple array and checking whether those values are equal to this so it's pretty simple this is not the way to create a login system this is just for demo purposes so this is how it, this is what happens actually in the main skeleton application next time what we are going to do is we are going to change this whole thing we are going to connect to a database okay in the next lesson we are just going to simply connect to a database and maybe do something else or maybe create a login system with 
page after creating a user table and all that uh, but here as you can see this is a pretty simple this is where all that form is submitted to so uh, there's nothing much to say actually uh, I'll further explain about I will further understand how the authentication system works in the in the next lesson where I take you through uh, creating a login system after creating a database table and all that all that so stay tuned uh, stay tuned for that um, lesson okay see you then bye bye